Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a, um, an illustration for you um, based on the character of a book called Ready Player One. Um, hopefully if you got to this video you know the book or slash the movie which is about to be released just in a couple of weeks. Uh, I'm really excited about the movie but the book is what inspired me to draw um, this character. So each character in the book has a virtual reality um, aka a video gaming character, so not a real character, and a real life character. So the person I'm drawing is um, Samantha and in the book or in the movie her virtual uh, avatar person uh, is called Artemis with a three instead of an E. Um, yeah, so um, the um, the book is one of my favorite books of the last decade, I would say. Um, I totally recommend this read, and I don't know if I totally recommend the movie because I haven't seen it yet. But considering I'm excited as a teenager, <laughs> um, yeah, I think I won't have any doubt in saying it's great. But let's come to the um, drawing. So. This is, is an illustration that um, started as a basic pencil sketch on um, A4 paper. Uh, nothing fancy, really just a sketch uh, book that I own. Um, and uh, I um, sketched the character based on a photo reference. There's some few screenshots of the movie that have been released. Uh, the movie will be directed by Steven Spielberg and I grabbed one as reference. So in this picture... Samantha's been chased by six sixes, which are the baddies. I won't explain why, but um, they're trying to uh, get hold of something. Um, I've used pen pastels, as you can see, uh, some of my favorite media for base layers. I've used uh, Prismacolors for um, shading of you know skin. And um, she has a port slash wine. Um, birthmark on the face. Um, it seems quite subtle in uh, in the picture, so I tried to recreate what I was seeing in the screenshot. Um, and um, yeah, I just uh, I just thought it was a very cool um, effect. It looked like she was in a basement or somewhere with some background light effect. So I tried to recreate that as well in the. Um, in the um, illustration, she, um, I noticed she was wearing something, I can't give away what it was, on a necklace, so I've tried to give a hint of that in the illustration. Uh, as you can see in the background, I give an idea of something going on, and I've simply used a piece of paper, not even a ruler, to create those lines with a sponge and pan pastels, and then I went on with a um, pencils to just give a just an illusion of some objects or maybe a window or something going on behind her. I uh, went on the detail for um, the two baddies, the two sixers chasing her. You can't really tell it's two but it's two so there's two heads and the approaching. There's actually in a picture she's holding someone else's hand. I just cut that person out. <laughs> Because <laughs> I uh, just, um, well, the person is um, the main character of the book. Um, wait, um, okay, past of all, so uh, obviously something is happening there. Um, yeah, and I just thought to focus on her, um, and I was quite happy with the result. I just wonder what you think. Um, that's me drawing the necklace, and then I just used a gel pen and a kind of uniposky. Uh, permanent marker uh, for the highlights um, something that I reviewed in one of my previous videos so you can check that um, and I currently put this on eBay for sale starting at 99 cents so if anyone is interested just look for Artemis with a free um, original art it's out there <laughs> bye everyone